You know what I mean? Right. A man like them titties to suck on. This is my titty right now. Right. You know I mean? We don't want to suck on your old hairy titties. Right, right. <laughs> it's like we got to <laughs> stop. But yeah, man. Very good. Cause man, we say, I just seen a woman is over there like, Arr! they got mad we said that. Yeah. Tit ass. Oh, women also, like, these women like tit ass too. Oh, they do, they like sucking on titties. They like tit ass too. They do. You see all of them on their uh, on their Facebook account, all their different internet sites, they even out talking about I need me a I need me a down ass bitch. Oh, oh. And they even get up and I ain't gonna say the nasty shit they say. Oh, hey, goodness. I'm already, I'm already, I've been trying to keep it clean, but it's not possible. Just to keep it clean. Yeah. Yeah, we, done, we done fucked that up a long time ago. <laughs> so this is not a PG rated show. <laughs> right. You know, I'll be trying, you can try getting that spirit bike, but I'm not going to cuss in this video. Right, right. I'm not going to, you know, you try to keep it, it can't, it's not possible. When you start talking about Israel, it's not possible. Yet, people, you know, be brother, people watch the videos on YouTube like, man, it was a great video, but could you stop with the cussing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to try. I'm really going to try. You know what I mean? Then you, <laughs> you get halfway through the video, you're like, God damn, motherfucker. You stop makes you mad. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a, that's a that's weak ass. That you, you can't be in that weak ass, uh, faggot ass spirit. Like the boy last week, you want to touch my body. Yeah, he got offended because, you know what I'm saying? Touch my body, man. That's like trying to touch someone's woman. Yeah. But, like, let me just hold your woman for a minute. Right, right. I'm you know you. Man? I don't even ask to see your Bible, do I? I got my own Bible. Oh, shit. Boy, I, thought, I thought he was a preacher. <laughs> he should have his own Bible. He was breaking down on the ship wrong anyway. He was going off like a motherfucker. Clown. That's like you going out in a battle. There is a war's raid waging, and you asking a man to your right, hey man, let me borrow your sword real quick. Hold up, you in the middle of a battle, he need a sword too. You know what I'm saying? He's out here naked. Like so on the yeah, out there naked. That's what we're gonna be in the time of the war. Oh yeah, yeah, you got it. You can use a million parables for that. Yeah, that's right. He he was, he was out in the out in the darkness. Yeah. Everybody had flashlights. He trying to get your flashlight. Hey, he's trying, that's what it is. That's exactly what it was. The five, well, how'd it go? The five were wise and five were foolish. That's right. What was that Matthew, uh, what was that Matthew, uh, 19? 25. Well, what was 19? I got shit mixed up. That's right. Yeah, it is 25. Yeah, I was just, no, I'm going to tell you this on Zed today. I'm just thinking about something. Isaiah 28 and 10, 11. For with stammering lips in another tongue will he speak to his people. Yeah, that's right. And we speak into our people in another tongue. That's, you know what is it? What's it, 26? What's that? Matthew 26, which I was talking about. Oh, I can't do it. Is it 26? What, it the oil? It's 25. Yeah, 25. Oh, um, don't read it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's a good parable, though. Right. Matthew 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened to the ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. That's like your boy going, he, 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 he you know what I'm saying, claiming he a teacher and everything, but he got no truth, got no scriptures. You know what I'm saying? No. But he, he going out to do the work, though, with no knowledge, no wisdom. Jesus loves you. Oh, Jesus loves you. God doesn't hate. He's all love. What kind of dumb ass shit is that, man? That's why they ain't out there doing too much. They know they're going to Well, I ain't out there being in love. You can't love everybody. But you going to love a scorpion? Go give, give, give a scorpion a hug? Go give a snake? Go kiss a snake on the cheek? Like, uh-uh. That was a little, a little present for you. So you gonna give a serpent a kiss on the cheek? Like you cute little devil, come here and like kiss yeah. you. <laughs> hell yeah! Some Donald Trump shit. They said hell yeah. That little bitch is a slut, man. Oh yeah, she got fuck on. 
somebody got dried up nut on their face right now. Yeah, oh, that's what all crusty ass sperm flaking off your shit. That's why she got that's why these women act like that, man. They got all these different sperms floating around inside their mind and they up and up in their bloodstream and shit. Yeah, they do too, because they be you cum guzzlers. Right. Hey, let's read that. Yeah, we couldn't get off track, man. Wise oil and their vessels with They that were foolish took their lamps, took no oil with them. With right. The wise, with the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Oh, well, what does that mean, why the bridegroom tarried? What does that mean? Because they when the Lord come back, he ain't never coming back. Y'all waiting and waiting. Okay. But see, that's why y'all ain't got no oil. You know what I'm saying? That's why we over here in the Lord said what? If you got uh if you got walk as children of light, what it say? Who whoever got a candle, you don't hide it under a bushel. And you take it to the top of the hill and let your he said let your light shine before men. That's what you're supposed to do. Come out here like this. We letting our light shine before men. Cause, uh, Cause this light, you know what I'm saying, blinds you. And they can't, they can't withstand this light. That's why anybody that comes up here talking they shit, talking they madness, they, 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 they can't disprove anything we say. They can't, they, they can't do nothing, bro. What does that say? Can't nobody gainsay nor resist? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. All that, anybody that comes up against us, every time we've seen it happen, we got it on camera, thousands of videos. I've seen it again and again. People make fools of themselves when they come up before us. Because really, they're not coming for us. They be coming for the most high. You know what I'm saying? We just represented them. You know what I'm saying? We, vessels. we apostles. Yeah, we vessels. We are angels. You know what I'm saying? Messenger. Yeah, we messenger. We just a messenger, bro. Mad because we told you. Yeah, get mad at us. <laughs> but yeah, we've seen it time and time again. It's like, it's like, why do you want to do this to yourself? We have fun doing it, but they come up here and make a fool of themselves every time. Because we, we do not lose debates. Because there is no debate. There ain't no fucking debate. This okay. is Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word, for the Lord most high, is quick and powerful. It's quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing the son of soul and spirit. Right. Because when it comes, we like to... But man, we know Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather, the Floyd Mayweather's the truth. We like Floyd out here, okay, because we undefeated. We undefeated. We ain't got no L's. We ain't caught a single L out here. We like Rocky Marciano. He undefeated too, wasn't he? Uh, we like the Floyd Weather, May, I can't say his fucking name. Floyd Mayweather, Rocky Marciano, okay? We undefeated, bro. Hey, nobody ever came up here and shut us down. Through the spirit of your how about something, how about we shut shit down. Here's into the evil divine and some of your soul and spirit, which has a joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. Right. So yeah, you, can, can, you can't, you can't be right. You can read spirits. We can just look at you, look at you and just know what you're all about just by looking at you. Your intentions too. No, quick too. We can look right through your eyes and through your spirits. Like, oh, you're the devil. You see right there, I can see the thing was jumping off you, bro. <laughs> you can tell a lot by a person's countenance. You, you, the look on your face tell, tells you everything about it. Lipstick, you will know. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's the Isaiah. Was it, uh, the countenance doth witness against them. They declare their sin of Sodom. They hide it not. Faggots. Faggots. That's Fuck just one faggots. example. Yeah, cause you, yeah, right, because you see the look of a faggot, he come up with that faggot spirit. You, and you can't, you can't hide that. Plus they get, cause that's got something to do with drinking all that sperm too. They be guzzling all that sperm, it gets all up inside of them, starts making them act funny and shit. Yep, yep. All them demons to get inside We got a new album coming out, the new mixtapes dropping. We got 10 views. Too 
Lumi said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the worry to rest, and this is a refreshing, yet they would not hear. But the word of the Lord was upon them, unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go, and fall backward, and be broken, and snared, and taken. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, the scorn from him, that ruled this people which is in Jerusalem. Because ye have said we have made a covenant with death, Right, because our people, they made a covenant with death. You know, because when, when you walk up against this truth, you make an allegiance with death. Ooh, See what I'm saying? Damn right. That's why they got the spirit of death on them. Like, if they busting their little raps or whatever. You listen to these motherfuckers' mixtapes or, or little raps they got. What are they talking about? Death? They get mad at us because we're not talking all love. But... All, what's the kind of music they listen to? Nothing but death. What kind of love y'all got? You know what I'm saying? None. When the overflowing spirit shall pass through, it shall not come unto hey. us. For we have made lies to our religion, also have we did ourselves. Yeah, they, these people, they, they, they take refuge in lies. Because you know it's easier to believe in a lie than the truth. You know, for these people, because a lie is more comfortable and more cozy. You know what I'm saying? Like what's your, uh, like your boy Jack Nicholson said. Was it Nicholson, Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, golf. Jack Nicholson. He said you can't handle the truth. You know, because a lie is more convenient. You know, like it's more cozy, it's more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation of stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, and a hell. This is what we're going in over. We're going to go to the world to that demon temple. A precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Like they be doing when we used to scream out that scripture. The Papa scripture used to scream out when we first started coming out. He that fleeth, uh, hold up. And, uh, the wicked flee. The wicked flee. Oh, no no yeah. What's that? See, we, we, you don't see us flee. Isn't that probably Proverbs 28? Yeah, right, right. Yeah. You don't see us, brother. Yeah, we, yeah, right. We ain't, like we saying about the, the, the five that was wise and five that was foolish. Because they come out here and got no, they, they're trying to get in a, a battle with us. They got no oil. It's like you going to war, but you will like intentionally leave all your ammunition at home. <laughs> I mean, how stupid is that? Going to war, no, with no, with no armor, no, no bullets. What? Airplane, jumping on. Stay out. What? We, we dropping bombs. Where they dropping? Roses. Oh yeah. What's that? Don't see that key armor coming out. I heard about it. I found a website with the feature armors they wore back in the day too, man. That's a bad shit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, amazing, like damn. That's a serious crap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That shit was expensive. You can look at it, man. I'm gonna have to buff the one. Sound of heaven. Oh, right down here in Central High School. Damn, we went on the field trip. Yeah. That was bad. The, the terracotta sold it. Why, man? That was taking me back, right? That was like a long, I was a little kid. I don't remember. The sons of heaven. The, Remember they had a, they, they dug up the emperor's grave and they found like thousands and thousands of uh, what they call them terracotta soldiers. And each one of them was different. Yeah, but why? They had all the gold, uh, all the armor and shit. All the shit made out of jade. I remember that shit was amazing. That blew my mind when I was little. Now they got raggedy ass coastside down there. The old coastside was way better. I don't really like that dude. It's so dark. Yeah. I got free tickets for that dude. So okay, hang on. He probably oh, he, he locked he someone up. Somebody else, he yeah. dropped someone off in uh, right. the county. Right. Oh, gas got handed. Got handed, hey, we know what get means, right? Yeah. That means hell. That literally means hell. You go to get handed, that's hell, bro. They they got more, they said they got more cops in Gahanna than any of these other suburbs. Wow. 
Cause yes, yeah, dang, you don't want drivers to get hit. You gotta watch your ass, driver. Oh fuck. Like fucking on white. I don't like fucking driving nowhere. It ain't safe. The best is not drive at all. That's, how it, <laughs> that's where they get you on the road. You know what I mean? The cop, that's the only place they really can get you is on the road. Find some little bullshit excuse to pull you over. Oh, your license plate lights out. I got you, bitch. Now, now you, cause your license plate light went out. Now they all up inside your car digging through your shit. You know what I'm saying? With daylight. Yeah, with daylight. Oh, yeah. Fuck ass cops. Just looking They just looking for something to take. Several times, I just have uh, brass knuckle knives. Why do you think cops uh, pull people over, take your weed, and let you go? Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm going to let you go. This is some good shit. I'm going to let you go. You know what I mean? Yeah, they took my drink, our liquor, and all the things, you know. Oh, they, they sure did, didn't they? They took our wine and all that. Take us to jail first. And let me go. Yeah, right, right. I deserve to get locked up, though. Let us go. The most side to lock me up every once in a while. Every once in a while, he just likes to throw me in there. And that'll be fun. I have someone to talk to. She got some that in there. Yeah, that is too. We don't even match this skin. When you really think about it, though, it's hard to stay out of jail being a man in this kingdom. You know what I mean? Because, you know, men is always doing manly ass shit. Rough men do not mix in this faggot ass society, man. So it's hard out here, bro. Because you, cause you, like, drinking is like, because it all comes down to that. But you get drunk one day, you just. You get that manly, raw spirit. Uh, next thing you know, you're in fucking jail. It's a fucking alcohol, it's a bitch, boy. It's a manly thing. It's a manly thing. Because it's in a man's spirit to be drinking. You know what I'm saying? That's just a manly deal. I love to fucking drink. Yeah, I love trying different shit, man. New shit. That's just what I do. I ain't no drunk, man. I get fucked up, though. <laughs> I, I get fucked up, though. Right. You know how we do it, man. Oh, well, what about we got You already know how we do it, man. I, I heard these Israelite groups, I heard uh, some of them say, uh, we drink, but we don't get drunk. <laughs> See, but usually for me, the first shot is the worst. Man. <laughs> the first is the That's worst. That's why you take that Because you take that first shot, the one that gets you, boy. And you hit it, it's like, ah, damn. Oh, you be gone. That's some bull. If anybody says we drink, we don't get drunk, that's the dumbest shit you can ever say. I heard so many, I hear Christians say, we drink, but we don't get drunk. <laughs> Man, I, I, so I'm a really, sometimes, I if I can guzzle, so, it depends on my spirit. You know, sometimes you be in that spirit, you can drink a gallon of whiskey and just be like, damn, this shit ain't even facing me. I need more. You know what I mean? But sometimes you just drink one little drink and be gone. It all depends on the spirit. You at home, though. At home. <laughs> I, probably, I don't really drink that much anymore, though. No, I do. I probably need to. Ain't nothing like being stressed. Being stressed and oppressed. I be get, I'm getting going off that coffee. Yeah. You live with women, though. Okay. You live with enough women, you don't drink more quick. Probably so. You know, you live with two or more. You know, that's how it is, man. Hell, they want to get drunk too. It's probably best that they drunk with you, I guess, in this world. Ciroc 31 and 26. The bird is proven to the edge by drinking so does wine the hearts of the crowd by drunk. Wine is as good as life to a man if it's drunk water. Moderately. Moderately. Meaning you ain't getting... Just enough to get nice. That's, that's what be kind of sense, though. Just you, enough to get nice. You, you don't want to be a fucking strong guy waking up every day with the shakes. Right. Yeah, I'm right, saying. Right. Shitting and pissing on yourself so tall. Yeah. That's like Tracy walked by. She was just pissing herself constantly, man. <laughs> so drunk, just pissing on herself, man. Literally. Hey, my mom used to be like that before she got sober. And I've seen I woke up in the bed with the bitch pissing herself, pissing in the bed, man. You I, know what I mean? I'm growing up, when I was little, growing up, my mom was a, she was a real bad alcoholic back in the day. Like, she's totally sober now, but. 
every morning I wake up and I, I hear her just puking. Every morning she be puking. You know what I mean? Cause she going through withdrawals and all that. She get the shake. That, that ain't nothing. That ain't no way to live, man. Go ahead. What life is then to a man that is what I want? Yeah. Well, yeah go ahead. What is that? Wait a second. What? What life is then to a man that is without one? Boy, it was made to be. It's like it was made to make men glad. That's why it was made. Oh, what was the first thing that Noah did when, when he got off the uh, the ark? The script to tell you on uh, Genesis what? Uh, Genesis uh, is it nine? I think or something. Eight or nine, something like that. It tells you he got off the the ark, planted a, a vineyard. The first thing he did was plant a vineyard and got drunk. He was passed out, right? Yeah, he was passed out. He was passed out drunk, and then, then uh, uh, Ham came up making fun of him because he was naked. So Ham came up laughing at him. So Noah cursed his ass. He cursed Cain and his son. Don't father. Don't father. But that tells you, you know, it's okay to drink. That they accused the Lord of being a wino. Right. Well, you can read that in Matthew the eleventh chapter. The wine bibber. And they call him a wine bibber, which in the Greek is a wino. That's nice right there. That's nice right there. That's man. Come here. Come here. Come holler at your man. Come holler at your boys, man. I'm gonna right check out them golden tablets. Do you want a copy of the Book of Mormon? Yeah, let me get one. Oh yeah, my name is Coder Eucharist. <laughs> yeah. So let's give us the way. Hey, what's going to happen in time? Like, what's going to happen? Y'all got a bunch of women. I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. I just, no, that's got, a no. group that split off and started doing their own thing. But I thought the Mormons uh, have multiple wives, though. That's a group that That's the only off. thing I think I agree that, with. That happened initially <laughs> when the desert was being settled, but when it wasn't like your boy, uh, anymore. Right. You, so you guys. But yeah, there's a couple of Thanks, man. I appreciate it. it. Thank you. What does it say in Revelation? What's Revelation? Which part of Revelation? All of it. Well, what does it say? What do you first? Well, it talks about the end of times. It also talks about the pre-mortal existence. Okay, we're at Revelation. You guys, oh, oh, throughout. You guys know about the chariots? It's throughout the huh? You know about the chariots? The chariots? The chariots. The chariots of the Lord. But the Lord says he returns from this coming. He said, when the, you know the uh, book of Acts, right? Acts, the first chapter. When he, he said he was received by a cloud, and he said, uh, and the angel told the apostles, he said, "Don't be amazed." Something like that. We can get it. Uh, he said, like "He said I'm. He, he said I'm. He said I'm coming back the same way I left." Yeah. And he said, "The Son of Man is gonna come out of the sky with uh, with with the legions of angels, right?" Yeah. yeah. So what was it that he was in? What was it? You know the story of uh, Mount Sinai. How? What, what led the Israelites through the wilderness? Through the Red Sea, the, the, the chariot, the pillar of fire yeah, by the night. Fire. What was it? Yeah. What, what did they call it? Pillar of fire by I mean, night. I know that was ancient times, how they refer to it, because that was back then, right? What, what do they call it now? What would we call it now if we saw a chariot of fire? What is that chariot of fire? Is it a 747? No, we Probably just call not. it a chariot of fire, I believe. A chariot of fire. You ever seen a chariot of fire? <laughs> you ever seen a chariot of fire? No, I haven't. What's a chariot? Well, it's a, a that's a chariot, carriage. right? Isn't that a modern yeah. day chariot? Yeah. So what was it then? I don't know. Something that fit that time so period. So y'all don't. Well, that's unidentified yeah, to most unidentified. people. So do y'all believe in UFOs? Yeah, I don't. So you've really never seen UFOs? Never seen. See, that's what it was. It was a. To them, it was an UFO. It was an identified flying object. I thought the Mormons believed what we would call a UFO. That's what. It so was. do you believe that we go? Uh, the, the, bring the Israelites are going to bring populate to that galaxy. Now. Yeah. 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 So the promise that was given to Abraham was that in his seed the children of the earth will be blessed, the entire earth will be blessed. And Paul, yeah, Paul talks about how when people come into Christ and they repent, they're actually uh, adopted into the house of Israel. And they can actually become Abraham's children through that. This speaks about the adoption. Through or adopted into it in the first place. I get, uh, yeah. we're, we're, we're all God's children. Correct. No, no, we're not all God's children. I don't see the know. Safety. No. There's, there's children of men. He saw the seat of safety. There's the children of the wicked. 
Oh, and there's the children of the Most High. Three. Most High Creator. Yeah, God, God, God is the Father of our spirits. Yeah, that's our message. He's a loving Heavenly Father. He saw our spirits and wanted them to return to so. Father. Because every is present for you, but is he not the father of our spirits? 